How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine. And you all are enjoying your summer camp. So, today is your second day of summer camp. And I, Miss Rachna, is once again with all of you with my tasty, yummy party snacks. So, welcome back to Rachna's Kitchen. And my dear students, I promise you that you are going to enjoy all these party snacks with me. So let's not waste our time. Let's start preparing them. For this, first of all, you need some onion, cucumber, tomato, green chili, chaat masala, salt, lemon juice and a chopper and knife. You also need a bowl in which you are going to mix all these things and the main ingredient you need salted peanuts. You can take any if you don't want to take this ready made one you can take other peanut and you can roast it and then you can use it, that same peanuts for making this peanut masala. So I am using this. Take it in, out in a ball. So it depends upon that for how many people you are preparing this. I am going to prepare this for 2 to 3 people. So I have taken one ball full of peanuts. Then I have already washed these cucumber, tomato and onion and I have peeled this off and I have kept it. Now let me tell you how to chop this. You have to chop this into very fine small pieces. So let's do that. You have to peel this onion first. So. For chop chopping, you can take help of your parents because you are small. So you have to chop this in fine pieces. You can take help of your parents. Okay. So you can use the chopping board or you can also chop this with the help of the small knife like this if you are not comfortable with this you can chop it like that it's up to you how you want to do this so with this you can make fine small pieces of this onion so i have taken one full onion because i am preparing this for two to three people so it looks yummy and tasty so you can use chopping board to chop this or use this method to cut onion. Okay. It's all depending upon you how you want to do. So slowly, slowly you can chop it. It's all up to you. But be very careful while doing this or so like this you have to make fine small small pieces out of this. I'm, I am telling you both the ways you can use the chopping board like this okay or you can use the small knife. Hold it like this. See children, cutting vegetable is also an art. See children, cutting vegetable is also an art. You have to learn how to chop vegetables. So, these are two different methods. You can do it like this. So, like this you have to do the other half also of the onion and make small pieces 
like this okay now we will take it out in a bowl and keep it aside then next ingredient is tomato so we'll cut tomato also we'll chop tomato also in fine pieces so again there are two methods to do this either you can use the chopping board like this okay cut into small small pieces okay or you can use the other method but be very careful while doing this and in this what i want you can remove the seeds of the tomato so you can remove the seeds because it contain lots of water and we don't want water in our dish so you can remove the seeds like this and keep it a separate then chop it into fine pieces like this see vegetables are always healthy for us so you can use tomato onion cucumber you can even use capsicum of different colors okay so it's your choice whatever vegetables are available in your fridge in your refrigerator you can use that so you what i told you you have to remove the seeds as we don't want much water in our snack so this is the other method to chop it remove the seeds do it like this okay and then cut it like this so i have cut full one tomato for my dish so these are two ways to cut or chop vegetables fine and then we can keep this also into another bowl now the third vegetable which i have is my cucumber so i'll not use full cucumber i'll use half of this so half i'll use for some other recipe so for this also you can cut it into two parts okay so here also you can remove the seeds from here because it also contain lots of water it's optional if you want to remove it's your wish if you don't then also but if you will remove then the water quantity and the crispiness of the peanuts will retain okay so my suggestion is that you can remove this and then again cut it into fine pieces okay like this so you can use you can see it be very careful while using knife as you all are very small you can take help of your elders your parents back at home you may get hurt cutting your finger okay Good. so if you will not be careful then you may get hurt or you may end with cutting your finger i don't want that so what you can do you can take help of your parents or any elder person at home and then you can prepare this cutting part okay so this is the way oh i have to tell you the other way also so other way you can do it like this and cut it into small pieces fine so you can see the chopped cucumber now the last part is we have to combine all our vegetables 
with our peanuts. So I'm taking one, two, and three full spoons of peanut. Then I will add this onion. and tomato, chopped tomato and the cucumber and one thing here I want to tell you children if you want to add green chilies into it that is optional you can or you cannot it's all up to you so I have kept green chilies here I will use so if you want to make your dish spicy you can use one chili in it according to your taste one or two it's your depending upon your taste so if you want more spiciness you can add two if you want less then you can add one so i'm adding you can chop it fine see children chilies while doing this also you have to take help of your parents because this is very spicy you can add this also into your dish so it will look like this now you have to add a pinch of salt according to your taste into your dish a spoon of chaat masala this is also optional if you want but with this your dish will be very tasty and a spoon of lemon juice so this is to make your dish more tasty and then you have to mix this well mix all these things well And children, your spicy peanut masala is ready to serve. Now see children, presentation is always very very important. So what I suggest, you can present your dish very nicely. So take a plate for the presentation. Okay. And put your peanut masala into this and you can decorate your peanut masala with the vegetables you can decorate your dish with the slice of cucumber like this see presentation is very important so you can do it like this and serve and a green chili so now you can see your dish is ready peanut masala you can serve it to two to three people and enjoy so i hope you have enjoyed preparing peanut masala now the second recipe of the day and this is very interesting recipe children the name of this recipe is masala papar cones and this is also very easy and interesting recipe for this the ingredients you all can see on your screen you need some cucumber tomato onion chilies chaat masala lemon juice salt to taste and you can take any mixture you can take alu bhujia you can take navrat mixture or any bombay bhel whatever you like so you can take that and then you need some masala papars you can also take simple plain papars or masala papar 
Now let me tell you how to chop this. You have to chop this into very fine small pieces. So let's do that. You have to peel this onion first. So for chop chopping you can take help of your parents because you are small. So you have to chop this in fine pieces. You can take help of your parents. Okay. So you can use the chopping board or you can also chop this with the help of the small knife like this. If you are not comfortable with this, you can chop it like that. It's up to you how you want to do this. So with this you can make fine small pieces of this onion. So I have taken one full onion because I am preparing this for two to three people. So it looks yummy and tasty. So you can use chopping board to chop this or use this method to cut onion. Okay. It's all depending upon you how you want to do. So slowly, slowly you can chop it. It's all up to you. But be very careful while doing this. Or like this you have to make fine small small pieces out of this and I'm, I'm telling you both the ways you can use the chopping board like this okay or you can use the small knife hold it like this see children cutting vegetable is also an art See children, cutting vegetable is also an art. You have to learn how to chop vegetables. So, these are two different methods. You can do it like this. So, like this you have to do the other half also of the onion and make small pieces like this. Okay. Now, we will take it out in a bowl. And keep it aside. Then next ingredient is tomato. So we'll cut tomato also. We'll chop tomato also in fine pieces. So again there are two methods to do this. Either you can use the chopping board like this. Okay. Cut into small small pieces. Okay. Or you can use the other method but be very careful while doing this and in this what I want you can remove the seeds of the tomato so you can remove the seeds because it contains lots of water and we don't want water in our dish so you can remove the seeds like this and keep it a separate then chop it into fine pieces like this see vegetables are always healthy for us so you can use tomato onion cucumber you can even use capsicum of different colors okay so it's your choice whatever vegetables are available in your fridge in your refrigerator you can use that so you what i told you you have to remove the seeds as we don't want much water in our snack so this is the other method 
to chop it remove the seeds do it like this okay and then cut it like this so i have cut full one tomato for my dish so these are two ways to cut or chop vegetables fine and then we can keep this also into another bowl now the third vegetable which i have is my cucumber so i'll not use full cucumber i'll use half of this so half i'll use for some other recipe so for this also you can cut it into two parts okay so here also you can remove the seeds from here because it also contain lots of water it's optional if you want to remove it's your wish if you don't then also but if you will remove then the water quantity and the crispiness of the peanuts will retain okay so my suggestion is that you can remove this and then again cut it into fine pieces okay like this so you can use you can see it be very careful while using knife as you all are very small you can take help of your elders your parents back at home you may get hurt cutting your finger okay good so if you will not be careful then you may get hurt or you may end with cutting your finger i don't want that so what you can do you can take help of your parents or any elder person at home and then you can prepare this cutting part okay so this is the way oh i have to tell you the other way also so other way you can do it like this and cut it into small pieces fine so you can see the chopped cucumber after chopping your cucumber tomato and onion we will cut this masala papad into two like this you will fold and press it it will cut into two halves then you have to roast it on tawa with the help of your parents because for that you need to uh, go to kitchen so you can take help of your parents roast it on tawa and after roasting you have to fold it like a cone so i have already done this you can all see you while this is hot you just roll it like a cone okay in this shape you have to make i have made few it's there you can see now the final thing what you have to do is take an empty bowl a mixture a spoon to mix and after that you need to keep this onion cucumber and tomato and green chilli also i have put if you want to make it spicy you can add otherwise you can skip that so add this into the bowl then you have to add little salt to taste it's your wish how much you want to put then little bit chaat masala and half of half spoon of lemon juice you can put more if you want and the last thing is your mixture so you have to take mixture i have taken this and mix it well now children this is very tasty and quick recipe you can serve
like this. Now the cones which we have made out of paper will fill these cones with this mixture. Okay. Now our mixture is ready. So the last thing you will take one one cone and fill this cone with this mixture slowly and so you will take these cones one by one and fill them with this mixture slowly and you can serve this like this so and children this is really yummy dish but you cannot keep it for long because we have put tomato cucumber and onion into this so after preparing serve this so your Chatpata, papar, masala, cones are ready to serve. Enjoy with your family. So children, I hope you enjoyed preparing your second dish. Now it's time to have some things sweet. And for this, the third recipe is peanut puffed rice balls. So let's prepare that and I hope you are going to enjoy. So children, our next recipe is puffed rice with peanut butter balls. Okay, puffed rice with peanut butter balls. So for this, let's note down the ingredients first. For making puffed rice peanut balls, you need... For... Let's note down the ingredients for making peanut puffed rice balls. So for that, first of all, you need a bowl full of puffed rice, then peanut butter, honey, coconut powder, some mixed nuts and raisins, powdered sugar. So you require these simple ingredients to make this puffed rice peanut butter balls. So let's start making it. So you need a bowl and a spoon to mix. I am making this for 2 to 3 people. So I am taking this puffed rice this much, one full bowl. So first of all, we need to put honey. So for that, so first of all, we need to put honey. So for that, let me show you a full one spoon of honey. You can take it according to your taste. If you want more sweet, you can take two. So two spoons full of honey. Three to four spoons of peanut butter. So we have taken two full spoons of honey. Now we are going to take peanut butter. So that also will take generous amount of peanut butter. Two full tablespoon. Two and half. As you all can see this. Then we will add some powdered sugar in this this is also according to your taste so after that you have to add powdered sugar so it is also according to your taste how much sweet you want so i am putting it should be according to your taste if you want too sweet you can put more i have taken two full spoons of powdered sugar then you can add coconut powder into this 
to increase the taste and nutritious value of it add some raisins and chopped nuts and mix it well after this now it's time to put some puffed rice so let's and then we have to mix this also very well this is very easy to prepare and it is very nutritious also because it has peanut butter it has nuts raisins puffed rice coconut powder honey so this is very healthy and it is full of protein children so make balls like this and don't forget to keep this these balls into your refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes and after 15 minutes you can serve it see like this you have to make you can let me make more so in this way you can make puffed rice peanut balls and children this is really very tasty full of protein full of nutrition you can also decorate this with the raisins at the top on each ball and now your so now your puffed rice peanut balls are ready and it is a lovely sweet Oh ho children not lovely sweet that one this is homemade sweets for your family so enjoy but don't forget to keep it in your refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes and after that you can serve it. thank you my dear students i hope you all have a wonderful time with me and you all have made all these snacks with me so please enjoy these snacks with your family members and children don't forget to share your views with me so thank you bye bye take care